afternoon so in today's video I'm making a budget chicken coop so it's worth mentioning that I've never made a chicken coop before nor have I ever kept chickens before so we've done a lot of research looked at lots of pictures online and originally I was going to make it entirely out of pallet wood but the pallets that we have in stock at the wildlands are the remnants of earlier pallet deliveries and they're all split and the wood's very poor so I've gone for the second best option and I've tried to find the cheapest wood that I can in Portugal which is even harder than finding straight wood in Portugal. In July 2021 with the increase in travel restrictions caused by Brexit and the pandemic we decided to buy off-grid land in Portugal to live a more sustainable lifestyle. Follow along with our journey as we turn our beautiful but derelict land into our very own slice of off-grid heaven. Wildlands. So the floor of the chicken coop is going to be one pallet in size with nest box sticking out on each side. And then I bought this panelling wood which is second grade panelling. So it was the cheapest available, so it's not 100%. So you see here, this one's got a hole in it where there's a knot. The first one I took out is actually cracked on the knot. And they work out at about a pound a slat for two and a half meters in length. So about one and a half euros a slat, give or take. And then we bought some of the rustic poles, which are two meters 80 a big roll of chicken wire and then on the top of the IBC there is the wood that I bought and you'll see particularly on there that it is not straight and believe it or not that was the best that I could find but this is rough sawn again cheaper so the ones on the left the square ones are going to be for the frame of the inside of the main structure and then the uh, the panelling will go along the front and make the roof and the doors and so on. So let's get chopping. So the first thing to do is to panel in what will be the floor of the chicken coop on top of the pallet. And then I'll get the walls made and the main frame. So that's the base done. All nice and flat, looks quite good. And then these gaps under the pallet at the side will be panelled in when the walls go on so you won't be able to tell there's a pallet there. So what I've got to do now is I've got to move the base over to here. But I've got to clear this mess first so that I can uh, put the, um, the floor of the coop onto stands so it's off the ground and then set it on uh, some breeze blocks so that it's nice and balanced. So that's my next chore. So I've cut these two long planks which are so thick and heavy and they're gonna go on the sides and they're gonna hang down below the bottom of the pallet to help the legs screw on and give it extra strength. But these are very heavy so I'm gonna attach them once the pallet is in situ over there. So I haven't tied it up very well, but I've tied it up where I want to build the coop for now. So I'm setting these breeze blocks just on the granity ground, very stony. And then I'm using a spirit level and a plank of wood to get them reasonably level so they can take the weight of the coop. And then I've left a gap at the edges so this piece of wood is actually the side piece of the coop so the feet are going to sit in this corner here so it should be good and spirit level is a flat so now I've got to do these two here So 
So there we go, leveled, pretty much spot on on the spirit level. And that's the size of the coop. So ultimately we'll uh, fill in the breeze blocks and put some earth up to them so they're not visible. Because the coop's going to be cool. So we don't want the breeze blocks spoiling the rustic look. So next job is to carry that down. Because once I start putting legs and these sides on, it's going to get very, very heavy. So I'm going to build it in situ over there. So it's through this fence, which obviously is not chicken protected yet, because it's got big holes, but as big as my hand. So we're going to put another fence along the here, a chicken wire fence. And there's the coop, so it's not straight, but that's good. We don't like it straight. So you walk through our beautiful new gate. And then down here will be chicken wide, and there will be the chicken coop. So we'll fence from this main upright along here, and then I imagine we'll have a gate where my shadow is so we can walk through. And then there's the chicken coop for feeding. So I've cut the four legs, which are made out of the same large roof joist that we used on the shade house. So pretty big bits of timber. See from my hand quite wide so they're two foot high which means the chicks can get under the uh, coop in the summer and get some shade and also means they're raised off the ground makes it warmer as well so that's the legs on but they're only uh, half on at the moment so what I've done is I've used 80 centimeter screws going in at an angle just to get them in situ a little bit wobbly, which is not where they're screwed in, it's just the strength of the pallet. So the side panels going here and round the outside will a have a lip so that the top of the coop screws to that and then that will cover all of this and strengthen the whole pallet up and make the legs rock solid. So legs are on and now I'm putting the sides on which are going to go here and come down to about here so then they'll be really making the pallet and the legs solid. What I'm doing now is I'm just marking where the uh, middle bits are so I can put screws in. So I'm just going to drill a couple of pilot holes in this one because these are surprisingly heavy so that we can screw it on with two screws. So I've got all my screws in, you can see they're all over it. Most important ones to start these three here to pull these tight. So I'm going to screw all those in and uh, see how it looks afterwards. So there we go. That's my first day's work. Uh, it's nearly four o'clock. So I've probably done about five hours on that. But it looks nice. So there's a couple of holes I need to fill in. And these are the planks I had left over. So yeah, so now all the screws are in. It's really, really solid. Yeah, it doesn't move at all. So yeah, very pleased with that. So I've got the door shape. And then here is the door. So the door's going to go on the front like that. And slide up like so. So I'm just going to start screwing it all together because I've got to work out the height of the eaves so that the door can stay open. So I made one side of one end and then I've used that as a template underneath there to make sure that the second side is the same. So I'm going to screw that together and then I've got both ends and then I can start on the sides. Looking good. What you building here, Daddy? I like this sniff here. Are you gonna have the wickings? I like wickings. I'm going to sit and wash them. What are you building, eh? It looks very good. I think you should be pleased with your work. It's very smart. So excuse the engine noise as we're running out of electricity and this is working. So the templated front is on and then attached to the sides. They're fairly sturdy, but it'll be held together by the slats on the roof and the side. So 
so good progress. So we've got the nest box in, which is just screwed along the front. Also, we've got these support bars under here. It's over a foot wide and a foot deep, so two nest boxes there. And then I've started tacking on the sides here. And on that side, excuse my shadow, lovely sunny day, and you can see this side I haven't boxed in there, but I've done here. So this is the beginning of the frame of this nesting box. So I'm going to have wood out here, along here, round, and then up. It's going to be on a slight slant so that you can lift it up so that you can look in like that to uh, look at the nests and the eggs. And then this side of the roof is going to be fixed. And that side of the roof is going to lift up. I'm just debating where to put windows. So I think we'll put a window on this end. Maybe a window in the roof that we can shade in the summer. I've got the roof on. Didn't film that because it's literally... I've just banged it on along here. And this side is solid. But this side has a surprise which I'll show you when it's finished. So now I'm doing the nest boxes. So around my drills I had to make an extension here. And then this bit is going to lift up so I'm working it out as I go and I'm um, very pleased with it so far see how it turns out so there we go including my shadow the roof is on somewhere are our chicks. It's a bit exciting isn't it? <laughs> so there's daddy cockerel <laughs> and these are mummy to our chickies. Isn't she beautiful? Yeah. Alright love, looks pretty chilled. Yeah relatively for being held by a person. She might be the mama of one of your chickens. Yeah. She's a pretty girl, isn't she? Mm. Wow, it's roasting this afternoon. It's about three o'clock and it's 25 degrees. Very hot, probably hotter in the full sun. You can see I'm squinting because the sun's right there, but I'm still in front of the chicken coop. So I'm gonna solve my roof problem. So I experimented with this being hinged this being hinged, which doesn't work because of this gap. And then whilst I've been building the cold frame, it came to me and it's such a simple solution to put the hinges on the outside. And then this can just lift up and I've got to replicate that on the other side where I've not started. And then I think here we've had a change of plan. So there was going to be a window here, but that's going to be a second door, I think. So that as well as having the first door, which is that one there going out that way, this one will connect up to a chicken run because it's the only place where the ground is almost flat where those uh, fence posts are. So we'll have a box chicken run where my shadow is coming up to where I'm stood now. So that then means that if we need to pop out like we have done today for shopping, the chickens can still pop outside and get some air but be completely contained and safe because we have seen the odd fox in the day. And we don't want our chicks to get uh, eaten. So I've got me front and part of the window in. So if I show you what I've done. So it's basically five mil piece of polycarb. I just cut it roughly to size, held it in place, marked it off. Cut it with a jigsaw. And I'm following the same logic as the cold frame. So I'm holding it in with these slats. I put one up the middle, one along the side here and here once the middle one is on and then these are just cut to length, two nails, job done. So I didn't film all that because it's pretty straightforward and then you see here I've got this bit sticking out so when I've got all my bits on I'm going to cut that off with the jigsaw to get a nice neat, neat cut and then all these edges I've got some L-shaped wood 
I can cover them over with just to make them look a bit smarter. And this middle one going up here, I'm going to make longer. So there we go, windows fitted. I just use the mitre saw to get the right kind of angles. And then this bit sticking out, so it's going to come off. Uh, so that's kind of done, just got to make the door here. Morning, morning. So with the cold frame build and starting on our well, it's been about a week since I've done anything on the chicken coop. So let me show you what I've been doing this morning. This is clearing around the coop. And I'm gonna get these nest boxes finished, hopefully. So they're both in the same state now. They've got their roof cut to size, but not hinged. They've got no walls on. So I'm going to get the walls on now, really straightforward. Just going to get wood, screw and nail it on and then cut it with the jigsaw, box it in. And then I've got to attach all these together, put the hinges on. And then I've also got to make a door for this end. So I've finished the side box or the nest box. What do you think, Missy? I love it. Will it's show so us inside. I will, yeah. Lift the thingy up. Ta -da. That will be nest box. Oh, oh. for the straw on the inside. Oh, cosy and chickeny in there with lots of straw. Ta da! Look, it's all cosy. And that's the nest box from inside. Don't they look cosy? I've still got the front one to do, but I've cut half the wood for it. So get in there. So today we've been planning out the chicken run. So you can see the size of it on the floor where we've outlined it. So it's two and a half meters square and one and a quarter meters high. And then that plank will be shorter. So it's contained within the chicken run. So uh, when we go out, which is not often, the chickens can come outside and be protected. So um, the whole run will be framed in uh, chicken wire and then where the spade is leaning up against the coop just in front of that there'll be a little door so that we can get in to clean out the chicken run and also it means that uh, when we're in and the chickens are roaming that gate can be open and then they can come out this back door and go into the chicken run if they choose or if I take you around the front and then that will be their other exit again with the plank coming down here and then with walking camp if you see where that post is that's where the outdoor chicken fence will come to so it'll run from the edge of the gate to the left of the wheelbarrow all the way down the hill to here and then where Missy's cleared this track which you can just about see Going up there past the logs, it will join up with the fence that you can see just on the other side of the uh, of the van. So they'll have this area for when they're contained, which is quite a nice big area. And then when they're free ranging, they'll be down there with us under supervision so they're not digging up all our beds. So off to Max Matt to get the wood for the chicken run and see if we can get some uh, smaller hole chicken wire to frame that in so that we can keep weasels and stoats out whereas the chicken wire we've got at the moment is quite large hold so I think a weasel or even a rat could squeeze through it so I'm going to try and avoid that I think we've been over cautious looking at the other chicken coops and runs that we've seen around our friends houses but rather err on the side of caution and protect our little chickies so off to town get our wood and then back to building. Evening, hard day's work at the Wildlands today. I not had the camera out once, so I apologize for that. So I'm gonna give you a quick rundown. So the first thing that happened was, if you look behind me, you'll see that the chicken coop, which was on those four marks, is no longer here. And that is because we started fencing today. Missy was on the fencing and we bashed holes, you can see, Four of them there, another one there, and all of this bit, all the way up to the gate, which is where we wanted to fence in, is granite. So we uh, had Dave round, 
and Martin gave us a hand and uh, Pharaoh style we put wood under the chicken coop lifted the whole thing up and she's now down here by the cold frame and where the greenhouse is going to be so we've mapped it all out so there we go it's pretty finished not quite so I've got both sides of these done so that's the nest box so the edgings are done not done an amazing job because uh, it's all a bit wonky in places so I didn't cut this to fit or the angle but it'll look fine when it's painted the same on this side where I've used the L joints because this side's overhanging because this is a different shape because of the lift up section so if I show you that properly this is for cleaning so I'll have some kind of prop for that and then we can get in to clean the inside of the coop out when the chickens are messy and we can get their manure for our composting and then obviously two nest boxes or two birds in one nest box but they'll probably all sit together as they often do so to each side but I think we probably could hold six to eight chickens all together but we're just having four to start with and uh, that's plenty for beginners so thanks very much for watching the chicken coop build and as always for your subscriptions to our lovely channel and your likes and especially your comments and um, I'm off now to continue with the chicken area and we're going to start building the chicken's pen which if you remember are two doors so this is a sideways door plank coming down here and the chicken pen with roof will be on this side and then the normal everyday exit to their run is the up and down door I've got to put a clip on the top There we go, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.